last week we uh, learned um, the gata I have arrived, I am home. In the here, in the now. I am solid, I am free in the ultimate I dwell. And this gata can be used for sitting meditation, can be used for walking meditation. When you stand, you can also practice, I have arrived, I'm home. And when you lie down, you can also practice, uh, I have arrived, I'm home. At the end of the day, you like to, uh, to, to rest. You go to bed. You lie down in your bed. And you may like to uh, practice, uh, I have arrived, I'm home. Because several of us continue to run even in our, uh, in our sleep, in our dream. Because running has become a habit. Not only we run during the day, but uh, we run also during the night, in our sleep, in our uh, dream. That is why it's good that we practice, uh, I have arrived, I'm home, I'm home, I don't want to run anymore. The moment when you lie down and you enjoy doing nothing, just feeling that you are home, you are a, uh, in your bed, and you want to really rest. You like to uh, listen to the music of uh, your breathing in and out. Your heart is playing music. And your lungs is playing music. You just tune to that kind of music. And whatever feelings and emotions arise, you allow that music of uh, breathing uh, to uh, embrace it. And like that, you can enter your sleep uh, peacefully. And with uh, much uh, pleasure. So, the gata, the poem, I have arrived, I am home, can be used in four positions of the body. Sitting, standing, walking, and lying down. And that is the practice of uh, stopping. The practice of stopping is very crucial in the Buddhist tradition. There are moments when uh, we don't do anything. We just sit there and we lie down. But our body has not stopped. There's a tension in our body. There's a kind of energy that push, push you, push your body. Your body wants to do something, to be active, to run, to do something. Your body does not have the capacity to rest, to stop. That is why uh, stopping does not mean just stopping the mind, but stopping the body. Because the body also has the habit of running, of being in uh, movement. And there is, a, there is a feeling of restlessness in the body. The body and the mind are the inter are. Uh, the body contains the mind, and the mind contains the body. They intercontain each other. 
That is why helping the body to stop, mm, you can help the mind to stop also. And helping the mind to stop, you help the body to stop. You practice with body and mind at the same time, not just with the mind. That is why meditation includes the body. You don't just meditate with your mind. You meditate with your body. And the Buddhist term for, for stopping is uh, shamatha. In Pali, Samatha. And with this, uh, you pronounce uh, like Samatha. And the first meaning of Samatha is uh, stopping. Without stopping, you cannot do much. And uh, when you come to the deer, to, to deer park, you can enjoy shamatha as a practice of stopping. You stop during the time you sit, you stop during the time you walk. You even can stop during the time you run. We have jogging meditation. And while you are running, you have already stopped. Because you, not, you are not running after something. No. You are not searching for anything at all. You are completely at ease in the present moment. And that is the meaning of shamatha. And it, it sounds easy, but we need some training. We need a strong will also. We need a big desire in order to be able to stop. Because the habit of running is very strong in us, in our body and in our mind. And the habit of running, the habit energy, might have been transmitted by our parents. Our parents might have run all their life, it become a strong habit, and they may have uh, inherited it from their from from our grandparents, our ancestors. So the the habit energy is very strong. But now, as we have a chance to encounter Buddha Dharma. And the Buddha said, stop my child. And then we have a, a chance to transform that habit energy. And if we succeed in stopping, and then we help all our ancestors in us to stop at the same time, how nice. I have arrived. I am home. It means I don't feel the need to run anymore. What I am looking for, it is right here, right now. And that is why we need the insight in order to really stop. And the insight is got by the other wing of uh, the bird. That is uh, Vipassana. Vipassana is the practice of looking deeply in order to get insight. Uh, in Chinese, you write Quan. And uh, Shamatha, you write Ji. Shamatha and Vipassana are the two wings of a bird. And they transport us on the path of uh, insight and stopping. We just said that uh, when we have got the insight, that everything is already there. You are already what you want to become, namely a Buddha. And then you feel that there is no longer any need to run. That is why the insight allows you to really stop. 
without the insight, no matter how how hard you strive, you cannot stop. That is why shamatha is not possible without vipassana, and vipassana is not possible without shamatha. Imagine a bird flying only with one wing. It's very difficult. So the first meaning of shamatha is uh, to stop running. To stop altogether the running. And we are, when we are in a retreat like this one, it's a good opportunity for us to learn how to stop. We may have some wound in our body. We may have a cancer. We have, we have something like that in our body. We may have a wound in our uh, soul, in our consciousness. We may have some despair, a lot of injustice. a lot of anger. If you are if deeply wounded and we have come with all these wounds in our body and in our consciousness, we want to heal. And healing is possible with the practice of uh, stopping. If you don't know how to stop running, the healing cannot take place. And that is why the purpose of uh, shamatha is help you to heal. When you breathe in, you breathe in in such a way that makes the healing possible. Because your in-breath is not uh, a fight, an act of fighting. Your in-breath is an expression of arrival. I have arrived. I don't need to, to run. And if your in-breath is like that, it has the power of healing. And that in-breath releases all tension, releases all the tension that, uh, that, um, that in-breath allow your body and your feeling to relax. As the Buddha said, breathing in, I relax my body. And in another exercise, the Buddha said, breathing in, I relax my feeling, my emotions. An tình tâm hành. An tình thân hành. Thân hành means your body. The formation called body. An tình means relaxing. Breathing in, I relax my body. You can only relax your body when you stop. So your in-breath has the capacity of stopping. And when you, your in-breath has the capacity of uh, stopping, it becomes very pleasant. Your in-breath is not an act of fighting anymore. It is deeply enjoyable. And that is why, while you are here, breathe in in such a way, 
that every in breath has a power to heal. Every in breath allow your body to heal. And if you feel relaxed, the fighting is no longer there, the struggle is not there, you know that your in breath has the capacity for healing. And you have faith in, in it. You have faith in your in breath. You don't have faith, you don't need to have faith in the Buddha or in God. You need to have only the faith in your in breath because you know your in breath well. It is you who know whether your in breath is relaxing, is helping you to stop altogether, uh, whether your in breath allows your body to be free from tension. And if you can breathe in like that, you can touch your in breath in depth, in, in, in depth, and you know that your in breath has the power of healing. And when you make a step, in mindfulness, a step that can bring you home to the here and the now, a step that can help you stop altogether the running, a step that can allow your body to relax completely. You know, you know that that, that step has a power of healing, and you can afford yourself one step like that. Two steps like that. Walking from the upper hamlet to the lower hamlet, you might make several steps like that. 50, 100, 200 steps. And every step brings healing. Why don't you do that? And each step is a healer. And when you make steps like that, you don't have to struggle at all. Because making a step is not an act of struggling, an act of, of fighting. It is total surrendering. You surrender yourself to the present moment. You surrender, you surrender yourself to the power of healing that is inherent in your body and in your consciousness. Because you, you need to believe in the power of healing of your body and of your consciousness, nature. Nature has the power of healing. 